Outside for peepees and poo poo straight away. Mochi, come on! I'm peeing already. He's doing a poo. Hello! Did you do a poo? Breakfast time! the food we've just started feeding him. The Wayne Wright's puppy dry food in the flavor duck and rice. You seem to like it, right? But you like everything. Yeah, you'd literally eat anything. Yeah. We do also feed him like raw chicken, but we only incorporate it into one of his meals and that's his lunchtime meal. I don't know if I want to put him on an all raw diet. I think it's something I really need to research into and I'm happy for you guys to share your opinions in the comments. I know this video is very like tailored towards those who have dogs, but I'll try and make this whole thing a more vloggy morning in my life kind of style video. And for those of you who just like seeing watching videos then, I hope you also enjoy this video. So I just let that sit in boiling water to soften it up just for a couple minutes and then I rinse it with cold water. Okay, is it food time? Sit, pop, lay down, back, 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 back. I need to get on the slow feeder because he just wolfs down his food every time. Since getting a puppy, my morning routine has definitely had to change up quite a bit. I don't have nearly as much time for myself in the morning. I still really enjoy making a yummy, 
nutritious breakfast. And so I'd like to thank John Paul for sponsoring this part of the video. John Paul is a health and well-being app designed to help with your nutrition and for you to reach your fitness goals. It caters to different diets and is just a great easy way to get on top of meal planning, to get recipe inspiration. And I have been using this app for over a month now. I've worked with John Paul in the past and so I can say this app works so well in day-to-day -day life. And so this morning I just wanted to make a quick recipe. So we're doing avocado on toast with poached eggs. Oh, yeah, don't do what I did and use your lemon juice cautiously. I always put in too much. But here's an example of an easy everyday recipe. This came out so yummy. The good thing is it also suggested some extra ingredients, which I never would have thought to put in just for extra flavor. And also I never make poached eggs. I thought they were really hard to do. I think I succeeded today, so I was proud of myself. If you want that nice runny yolk, then I suggest only cooking it for about two to three minutes. And then you just want to pop it on top of your guacamole avocado situation. What I love about the John Paul app is that it does sort out your recipes for you. You can easily change them up in the app if you're not feeling what's chosen for you that day. But this feature really helps me because I'm super indecisive. And there are so, so many recipes to choose from. I love that this app is constantly updating and adding new features. So let's talk about a new one, the body scanner. So I just wanted to show you guys a quick new feature that the John Paul app has. They now have a body scanner feature, which you can just find in body measurements. And I want to try it out now. I have never seen an app do this before. When I first heard about it, I was like, how is this going to work? But the whole purpose of this is essentially just so it can provide you with precise body measurements and it gives the app a way better and deeper understanding of your body and tracking your fitness goals if that is what you're using the app for. It only took about 10 minutes and to be honest, I just found it really interesting and cool whether I'll use it for the purpose of tracking my goals or not. So a huge thank you to John Paul for sponsoring this part of the video. They have a two week free trial. I'll leave the links in description bar below for you guys make sure to check them out are we going to the beach are we going to the beach yeah what is it what's there <laughs> oh no is that a birdie yeah oh bad birdie come here watch it come here come here <laughs> did you bump into the camera sit paw paw lie down roll over roll <laughs> Paw, lie down, roll over, spin, back, 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 <laughs> sit, paw, lie down, spin, back, wait, okay. I've been using the new like Bondi Sands overnight face cream. It like gives your skin some color and it makes me feel like I don't need to wear as much foundation or any foundation. So today I'll just go for like a natural look. <sighs> Let's have a chat. I feel like I absolutely love doing these like voiceover videos, um, but I haven't really like caught up with you guys. First of all, how are you all doing? Tell me in the comments. How is life? Are you dealing with everything right now? I feel like the news in particular has just been really heavy the past couple of weeks. All the hate crime. If the like lighting and just everything in this video looks a little bit different by the way, it's cause for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you'll know I broke my camera. I hate myself. I really hate myself. I dropped it and then the viewfinder screen just wasn't working. And I think I'm definitely going to try to get it repaired. Oop, just went and wet my sponge. I needed to film like this weekend straight away because I have some deadlines. So I just had to buy a new camera, which is not fun. I did just get the same camera because it's in my budget. I know I like it. My lenses fit it. I haven't played around with the settings and got the color and stuff that I had. That was just a personal stress of the week. Honestly, life has been a bit hectic recently for me. Personal stuff going on. I had a couple of losses in my family, which has been really difficult. But as corny as it is, like time is the best healer with that stuff. I'm really grateful for the positive stuff in my life right now. Mochi, of course. And also that YouTube's going well for me. We're going really strong right now and I'm really proud of our channel and the little community we are growing. I also like the videos I've been doing recently. I feel like last year I kind of was lost in this. Like I was doing like too many hauls and too many fashion videos and then the house stuff came in, but I knew that 
that kind of had like a time limit in terms of like what videos I can make with that and what videos I wanted to make with that. I don't know what this niche is that I'm in right now, lifestyle, but like also bringing in health and well-being. I'm enjoying it and I want to say a huge, huge thank you to you guys for supporting me. Because of you, I get to do these videos. People actually watch them every single week. You forget to be grateful and thankful for like where you are right now because there was a time in the past where I would have done anything to be where I am now or thought that even where I'm now wasn't achievable. So like I've mentioned, Will's hoovering in the background by the way in case you can hear that. We're going to the beach today. Little Mochi Moo has been vaccinated. He's had his second vaccine, so he's allowed to go outside. It's so much fun to like show him the world. He does look so tiny like compared to other dogs that all the dogs he bumped into were so sweet to him. Time for walkies? Look at how snuggly you are. You're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. 